Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, joining you for pointer set number 47 for our next generation NCLEX RN. And before we get to start, I'd like to make this appeal and request for you to please join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. We've done this in the past two years and we'd like to do it this year and hopefully make a difference in the lives of our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the healthcare professions. So to help us achieve this, I ask only one thing, and that is for you to finish the ads and please don't skip because the proceeds from those advertisements in this specific YouTube channel goes into our scholarship grants for our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the healthcare profession. So for doing that, my heartfelt thanks to all of you. Thank you very much. So let's move on to our pointers number 47. And the first thing that you have to consider when you're preparing for the next generation and clicks is to ask yourself, what do I need to study? But be sure that when you get the information on what you need to study, you're getting it from people who have been through the process, which means they are certified and they passed the NCLEX RN because there's a whole lot of um, false prophets out there teaching NGN, and yet they have yet to pass the NCLEX. How can a blind lead another blind? So be very careful and ask if your mentor is a passer of the NCLEX RN. So let's begin with my first pick for this set of concepts. And my first pick would definitely be, okay... Crohn's disease. Okay. Now, Crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel condition that affects your small and large intestines. Although if you're going to take a look at the picture below, it could appear at any point in your gastrointestinal tract from your mouth to the anus. So which simply means it could be anywhere. And there are two things that you have to remember about the pathophysiology of Crohn's disease. It involves, one, inflammation, okay? And two, it could be triggered by an autoimmune reaction. So what are the common risk factors? There's a genetic basis to the disease, and smokers are three times more at risk to develop Crohn's disease. So how do you know that a client has Crohn's disease? So first and foremost, you have an inflammation. So there's going to be fever. And then because of hypermotility related to the inflammatory process in the GIT, your patient would more likely have diarrhea. And the diarrhea could be bloody and mucoid. And sometimes it contains fats. And because of that diarrhea, there's going to be weight loss. And take note, this is Crohn's disease. The pain is usually in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. Now, what are the complications that we expect? So number one, there could be bowel obstruction, as well as your Crohn's disease is a risk factor to cancer. So the condition can be treated with, remember, CAM. The first line of treatment would be your corticosteroids, and that's followed by your adalimumab, which is given subcutaneously. Your adalimumab would help block the inflammatory process. Your azathioprine would also do the same. And of course, your methotrexate, which can help maintain remission of the disease. So simply put, your Crohn's disease is a condition that is treatable. And your outcome parameter should be evaluation of the decrease in the signs and symptoms if your client is indeed in a period of remission, which means 
the signs and symptoms are absent. That's your remission. Okay, so when the signs and symptoms reappear again, that's called exacerbation. Okay, so let's move on. Before we get to uh, continue, I'd like to greet this fellow. Well, I met him in Cebu. He attended my quick fix class in Cebu, but he's from Sambuanga City originally. So his story of success is very inspiring because after 32 years of being out of school, he's a businessman, very successful at that, and without hospital experience, he passed the next generation NCLEX RN just last week, this month of April. I think he took the test last April 24, and he trusted the Ray A. Gapos review system wholeheartedly. And that propelled him to success. So what are you waiting for? Join us in our next class. We have a three-day session. It's called Quick Fix. That's the fastest way of passing NGN. We also have a 10-day boot camp. That is a faster way of passing NGN. But if you want to be prepared in a comprehensive way, join us in our comprehensive review that would usually last for 35 days and it's conducted online, your choice of five hour session or two and a half hour session. It's your pick. We have evening classes as well. Okay, so he just paid me a visit today here at my office at the second floor of the Ray A. Gapos building, corner Alumbra Street, United Nations Avenue, Remita, Manila, Philippines. Okay, now my second pick for this session would be your thromboangitis obliterans or your Burgers disease. Now, this is also known as your Winnie Water Burgers disease. Take note, there are two things also that I'd like you to remember about your thromboangitis obliterans. One, it's a condition characterized by inflammation and two, thrombosis or clot formation of the arteries and veins primarily primarily of the feet and of course the hands so it affects the toes the feet the fingers and the hands okay so remember thromboangitis obliterans um, this is more common among males but it also can affect females and the main symptom is pain in the affected areas, okay? Pain that occurs at rest and it's worsened by walking. So this is sometimes referred to as intermittent claudication. Now, if you'll be asked on the test, how do you assess for intermittent claudication? You just have to ask the client to walk until they feel some pain and then you ask them to take one to two minutes of rest and then reevaluate. If the pain disappears with the rest, then that's positive for intermittent claudication. Now, pay particular also, uh, pay particular attention also to the fact that your thromboangitis obliterans could be associated with impaired circulation due to exposure to colds. And the peripheral pulses could be absent or diminished. And then the extremities would usually change in color, ranging from bluish, that means there's cyanosis, to reddish blue and the most important thing take note eventually the skin becomes shiny and the hair growth is reduced the reduced growth in hair could be associated with impaired arterial circulation okay so the priority intervention here would be providing information to the client to stop or quit smoking now, there are three important goals that you have to remember for clients with thromboangitis obliterans. One is to decrease pain, and that is usually done through the administration of iloprost, okay, that's given usually intravenously. Now, the purpose is to relieve the pain and to promote healing of leg ulcers that could result from the impaired circulation. The second would be to prevent clot formation. So, um, Fibrinolytics or thrombolytics like your streptokinase could actually help in preventing the formation of new clots and it also helps dissolve the existing clots. And of course, last but not the least, 
is to decrease inflammation. Although some have questioned the effects of corticosteroids, it cannot be denied that Eventually, in terms of facilitating recovery, your corticosteroids could also help a client with thromboangitis obliterans to recover. Okay, so before we proceed, let me thank and congratulate. I'd like to thank them for trusting the system and congratulate all these passers led by a 60-year-old, Miss Jane Janeo Serrano from the Philippine Women's University who passed the NCLEX, Next Generation NCLEX at age 60. And from all of these ladies and gentlemen who trusted the system from more than 33 countries all over the world, thank you for your continued trust to our system. And my third pick for this set of pointers would be your aprepitan, okay, that could be given orally or intravenously. Now, a prepitant is given as a medication for nausea and vomiting that's related to uh, chemotherapy. However, um, the use has already been proven effective to address um, nausea and vomiting that usually occurs post-operatively. Okay? Now, there's another version of the drug that's your fossa prepitan. So remember the suffix prepitan, okay? like the cetrons on Dan Cetron, okay, that's used to relieve nausea and vomiting. Now, what's the difference between a prepitant and fossa prepitant? Your a prepitant could be given either orally or intravenously, whereas your fossa prepitant is only given IV. Now, for the side effects, remember the code CHAND, C-H-A-N-D, okay, C can potentially cause constipation. H, remember this for your test, H, hiccups. And then A, anorexia. And then N, nausea. And then D, diarrhea. So remember, your aprepitant can cause both constipation and diarrhea. Remember, Chan, once again, constipation, hiccups, anorexia, nausea, and diarrhea. Okay? So this is usually given to clients with nausea and vomiting associated with chemotherapy as well as post-operative nausea and vomiting, okay? So the second thing that you have to consider when you're preparing for NGN is the use of technology. Some of those learners we've coached for the test would know the answer in their mind. But the moment they use um, the mouse, to point the cursor to the areas that they would want to click on, sometimes their fingers would slip. So what they're saying is it takes mastery of both content and technology to pass NGN. And we'd like you to develop the strategies for those two areas, content and navigating technology. So in our system, you are sure that we're going to give you internationally published learning tools that are award-winning. And we also have here from VIA, who also passed the test very, very recently, just a couple of days back. I asked her which book helped you the most, and she says NCLEX 311. Okay, and this is what she says, parang same yung structure ng questions sa actual NCLEX exam. So it seems like the structure of questioning in the book was the same in the actual test. And I told her, wow, great feedback. Okay, and she says, to God be the glory. Her name, Via Natalie Kaga, and she's a graduate of Central um, Philippine University in Iloilo. And she says, actually, parang 90% ng exam ko na discuss po sa quick fix. So it seems like 90% of what I had in my test were discussed in the quick fix. Quick fix is our fastest way to pass NGN. It would just require you to be with me for three days. That's why I'm truly grateful that I had a chance to attend the class personally. She flew all the way from the kingdom of Saudi Arabia to join me in my last quick fix that I conducted a couple of weeks ago. So sobrang happy ko po and grateful for all the staffs of RA Gapus. They are so kind and accommodating. So she feels so happy and so grateful for all our staff who are so kind and accommodating. And of course, 
one of the secret weapons of our passers would be the use of our quick fix core shells that covers all the subject areas on the NGN, safety and infection control, basic care and comfort, health promotion and maintenance, management of care, physiological adaptation 1, 2, and 3, reduction of risk potential, and psychosocial integrity. And of course, the third, the last but not the least, in terms of what we advocate as part of your preparations for your next generation NCLEX, would definitely be a conducive environment. Here at the Ray Gapo system, we maintain our classes in a manageable environment with as few as we can allow per section of students that we cater to. So please consider joining our classes in the future. And we're the only one, we're the only test prep center that has a simulation laboratory that is available 24-7 to the learners and it doesn't come with a price tag. Yes, you're right. We are giving it for free to our registered learners. So may I invite you, those who may want to join us in the fastest way to pass the NGN, that's going to be the Ray Gapos Quick Fix. Please join us in our NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. We now have evening classes, your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, QBank and three books, NGN strategies and sample questions, and of course, our quick fix sessions. Once again, you have weekdays or weekend classes, morning or evening classes, five hours or just two and a half hours if that's the only uh, time you can spare for your preparations leave it to us we're going to prepare you with whatever limited time that you have so our fee starts at 3499 inclusive of the three books which i have both art so once again this is your mentor your fact check buddy ray gapus saying thank you for the trust and i'll see you in my next class take care <laughs>